With the release of Halo 3 on PC, it has brought the challenge system as well as a brand new season to progress through, giving us Halo players a whole new reason to grind through the XP ranks to level up as fast as possible. In this video, I'm going to tell you just how to do that, so stay tuned throughout the whole thing to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it greatly helps out the video and channel. Hopefully more people get a chance to understand how to grind through the ranks and earn your season points and XP points while playing Halo MCC. So I recently scrolled through all the challenges, understanding what is in there, what can we grind out for, how many XP points can we get, how many season points can we earn through seasonal and weekly challenges as well as the events, and how much XP do we get through the games and all this other kind of stuff. So in this video i'm combining it all together for you guys and so then we get a chance to optimize our grind experience when it comes to grinding out ranks and earning season points within the mcc to get through that progression and flex your halo skills with your rank score as well this will be very important information to know as of the weekend of the 24th of july there's gonna be a triple xp weekend so a weekend you're gonna want to hop in and play and optimize your game time to get through those ranks because every time you rank up it's a new season point so you're gonna want to get your points as much as possible. I will warn you now with this video that's going to be very heavy on the numbers so you have to understand math and just understand how we get to these different points. Oh math no the numbers make them stop ah, just tell me what to do. Yes hurt brain Kevin there is going to be a lot of numbers involved with this video but you know this is just to show you how I got to my conclusions why I do my testing and show you guys exactly what to do when it comes to it. So let's get right into the information here. So like I said earlier I scrolled through all of these challenges to see how many PvE challenges, how many PvP challenges, how many season points are being awarded, how much XP and grand total is being awarded for all of these different uh, challenges you can do for weekly and seasonal. So we'll start with the weekly. Uh, I tallied up last week's. It seems like they're on a certain cadence of 12 PvP, 12 PvE challenges. Each uh, set of weekly challenges earning five points for pvp and five points for pve seasonal point challenges as well interesting thing though through all the challenges pve challenges equate to 195,000 xp while pve weekly challenges have equated to 260,000 xp so that definitely is a big number change right there where it makes you want to think well Maybe I should grind out more PvE content because obviously there's more XP to be gained right over here. That would make sense. Now think about also, you gotta also keep in mind that your uh, challenges will also stack on top of each other. So whatever you do weekly, if it applies to a seasonal challenge, it will do that as well. So we have for seasonal challenges, we only have seven PvP as in multiplayer challenges where in PvE, we have 17 total where on the PvE, PvP side of things, 13 total season points available for seasonal PvE points, 37 seasonal points would be available right there. Again, for XP versions, you can see PvP is 165,000 available in seasonal, while in PvE, it's 545,000 seasonal XP points available for you guys right there. And also there's a current event going on for Halo 3. So the event challenges are just two PvE challenges combining for a grand total of just under 60,000 XP. So just looking at face value, the challenge system heavily favors grinding out your PvE challenges to get that rank up as there's a lot more seasonal points and ranks for XP to be earned within that. Though the thing is though, there is PvP challenges as well, right? But the thing is that you don't earn XP for playing PvE stuff, you only get the XP for doing the PvP stuff. Besides Firefight, you do earn XP for Firefight, but for multiplayer's sake, it's not the most uh, effective way to go about this. Well, I would say that if you have like kill 100 things within any kind of PvE mode, Firefight would probably be your best option there. But uh, I also think there's a lot of more campaign focused items as well. So think about this though, if you want to earn your PvP challenges though, you also are playing PvP which gives you ranked up uh, XP values as well. So right here I went into each game available on PC for the MCC. Uh, I didn't do Halo 4, uh, but if anything changes with Halo 4's release or ODST's release, I'll make sure to let you guys know on this channel as well. So I just jumped in, played two games each of Social Team Slayer, your kind of nice base level 
XP gains to have for what to expect. Now, obviously, things like CTF, uh, BTB, various other modes might have variations within your XP that you can earn because of objectives or game length, things like that can vary. But your core experience is Team Slayer. So we're gonna base, this is gonna be our baseline control when it comes to XP gains. So I found in Halo 3, I did hear about this, but I didn't realize it was this bad. Your XP gains in Halo 3 are awful. I mean, awful. My average XP gains between the two games, 5,600 XP. Now, it's not like I did terrible either. I had one game where I like 20 some odd kills and another game where I had like 11 kills, 11 assists, 10 deaths. Kind of like an average game, you know? Uh, that's why I try to get like a, a even balance right there because your XP gains are, is by, tied to the amount of medals you earn in a game, which is essentially tied to your performance if you perform really well you get more medals you get more xp uh hill three you get like no medals uh, i played one game where my only medal was a one headshot uh kind of thing which was kind of odd you know i got plenty of headshots within the game so you can kind of see what i'm talking about here your xp gains in Halo three are pretty much awful where in halo reach halo ce halo 2 and halo 2 anniversary you're gaining at least 15 to 20,000 XP per match. That's a huge jump right there. So if you're gonna complete your PVP challenges, which let's just say it takes 20 games, it probably will, will take more than 20 games to do all your weekly challenges. Uh, but this is just like a nice minimal baseline to let you see how much XP you actually do earn for this. So uh, you can also check over here on the right side. If you tally up your XP gains with the completing all the PVP challenges, you can see that with uh, Halo 3, you're earning about 300,000, 300, 400,000 XP for a week's worth of games for 20 games. Not exactly the best XP gains. Where down here in Halo 2, uh, for playing two games, I earned 22,000 on average for the XP gains, equating to with the addition of the PVP weekly challenges, 745 thousand xp oh that's like that's doubled of what halo 3 is it's also very important to keep in context of how much xp you actually need to rank up because every time you rank up with a season available guys you do earn a season point though as you progress through the ranks it takes more and more xp per rank uh, they call them tours as you will and so I can show you an example of what we're talking about right here. As you see, these are the ranks up here within each tour, as you can tell. So most people I've seen are pretty much like in the bronze sword shield level. I'm up here in tier five. Most people are tier two. I've seen some, some tier threes and fours and like occasional tier fives. Uh, of course, we've seen like Mint Bliss, I think is up here in tier nine, some absurd number. Uh, so it's very important to keep in mind exactly where you are in the tiers because the next page we're gonna showcase right here, the amount of XP that you need to rank up. And each time you rank up, it requires about 1.75 times the previous amount of XP for each tier. So uh, if you're in tier one, all you need is just under 2 million. Tier two, just under 3 million. Tier three is about four and three quarters. Tier four, just under 8 million. So you, for amount of XP needed to get to that next rank. So you can kind of see where I'm going to get to on this one, guys, where if you want to just rank up XP the best way possible, I suggest playing anything but Halo 3 for multiplayer while also focusing on trying to do your challenges for your weekly and for your seasonal challenges. Though if you want to focus more on the uh, seasonal points, you might actually want to focus on the PvE side of things. So you can kind of see where I'm getting at here, guys, where if you want to grind out actual XP ranks, multiplayer might be the way to go for you. But if you want to grind out seasonal points, to unlock items within the season pass, you might want to jump on to play some PvE stuff. It all kind of depends how you want to play the game, especially if you're in the later, like say uh, two or five and above, four and above for your current rank, you actually might want to focus on the PvE side of things because it's a quite a grind to get your way up through just the PvP level kind of XP gains for your seasonal points to be able to get through that progression system in a decent amount of time. So in conclusion, how should you play the MCC to optimize your gameplay, to get the most amount of experience and seasonal points out of it? Well, if you're going for XP strictly, 
jump on and play some multiplayer and anything but Halo 3 when it comes to XP gains, you'll be doing all right. Uh, anything besides Halo 3, uh, you're really kind of splitting hairs when it comes to the most efficient way possible. Uh, but Halo 3 is just god awful for XP gains, so I would not be bothering with that. Which is sad because it's the brand new game out there. Everybody wants to play right now. I want to play it right now, but uh, I think I might just play it for now. And then once we have that triple XP weekend of the 24th of July, then you might want to switch over playing either Reach, H2, H2A, Combat Evolved even, uh, to actually get those XP gains to kind of stack that up pretty well for yourself. So if you're strictly just looking for seasonal points and not really caring much for your overall rank, to try to get through the season pass as soon as possible might well focus on your pve stuff maybe jump into a firefighter game so you kind of double up on that xp gains as well as those pve challenges as well but many of those pve challenges are tied to doing like campaign missions as well so that's about all the video i have for you guys today if you enjoyed this kind of informational video please make sure to tap that like button if you learned something today if this really helped you out understand about exactly how to grind out your xp and seasonal points when it comes to the challenge system and the new release of halo 3 on pc so thank you so much for watching this video guys i really do appreciate it. leave a comment if you learned it something today if you enjoyed this video make sure to tap that like button if you're new to this channel or miss any content for me check out the videos on the screen right over here i got a link to all my news and informational videos if you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so so thank you so much for watching i greatly appreciate it i'll catch you all in the next video peace out